Okay, so let me again just go very quickly. The Taoist vocabulary, this notion of harmony. Um, harmony is not the absence of dissonance. Harmony is the collaboration, it's like jazz, it's improvisation, it's responsiveness, it's um, people playing their roles and relationships in some kind of coordinated way. And one, one way of, of really talking about it is Chinese food. What makes Chinese food particular, you know, you go to, to uh, a French restaurant, you go to, you know, an Italian restaurant, and you've got your standard things. But Chinese got page after page after page of stuff. And so what you're doing is you're, is you're taking the finite number of ingredients and you're combining it with the different colors and tastes and textures and all these different ways. You're taking the most expensive ingredient, meat, and using a little bit of it to flavor a whole dish. Then you're using rice or, or some kind of pasta to, 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 to uh, eat the, um, the, the, the dish. But you don't eat by yourself. If you're going to do Chinese, you say, hey, let's go Chinese. Let's you know, eat family style. And then everybody gets a little bit of a lot. Chinese food, you cut up into little bits. Why? Maximum surface area, minimum experience, expenditure of fuel. You know, that, that, that Chinese cooking is all about getting the most out of your ingredients. And that's what this Taoist sensibility is trying to do. It's trying to say, how do we maximize our ingredients? These are the Wu forms. Wu Wei is the one that you've probably heard about. Wu Wei is not doing nothing. Wu Wei is acting in such a way that, that you're getting the most out of the ingredient where coercion in a relationship is always a diminution of, the, of those possibilities. As soon as, as soon as coercion enters a relationship, it, 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 it shrinks the, the possibilities. And so it's not, hierarchy's not a problem. You know, do you treat your mother well? Yes, I do. And do you treat your grandmother well? <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course you do. Do you enjoy doing it? Of course you do. You know? I go to Hong Kong, I visit my old professor, I take him candies and cookies and jam and books and everything that I can, because if it wasn't for him, there wouldn't be me. And nobody forces you to do that. That's something that you really enjoy doing. You know? And, and so, so, so it's, not, it's not hierarchy that's a problem. It's coercion. It's somebody making somebody else do something that they don't want to do that, that, that problematizes relationships. And so this notion of Wu Wei is acting in a non-coercive way in, in the world, trying to see the possibilities in relationships and act upon the best possibility in those relationships. Uh, Wu Yu is objectless desire, not wanting to possess things. My wife is at the back of the room. She's not my wife. She's a person. She's got a life. You know, we hang out together. <laughs> we do stuff together, you know. We, we visit Bond together, you know, and that's, that's really fine. But we don't own each other. You don't, you know, it's we, we go along and you enjoy the things that constitute your life without making them your property. Wu Wu Zhi is unprincipled knowing. It means that you don't walk into any situation and say, oh, I know all about that, you know, and, and so you've got it already mapped. You walk into a situation and you say, I wonder what this is going to be about. And you really try to allow that experience to unfold itself. And so, so what it is, is it's a strategy for getting the most out of your roles and relations.